Yo YouTubers, ding ding, round one was that, it's kicking in, I'm absolutely safe, safe, I could do a tightrope walking and that like, right, that's round one, this is round two, we are going to Germany, we are going to Nuremberg, Yes, that is all the place that is going to be. <laughs> you can see that Glen Affleck beer has actually got me merry, can't you? Alright. And I'm actually on the bottom. <laughs> I'm um, quite excited about this. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to pronounce it like. But this is going to be exciting for me because... Pff, I just picked this off the shelf in the bottle shop, right, guys? I never, I never noticed anyone else doing it on you. When I got back home and I checked it on YouTube, all the people had reviewed it, right? So I kind of know what to expect. But you're gonna think of my completely, vir you know, beer virgin brain, beer virgin brain in a bottle shop. Like I'm just looking at all these bottles and labels, and just going, I'll just choose one, see what happens. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't know what to pick. I got me four atomic oranges. That's all that mattered, really. But. These things are just for fun, you know what I mean? But anyway, without let's let's without wasting any more time. It's like this is I'm the German beer. <laughs> Look. There is even a picture of me on the label. With me looks like I've got a headphone mic, doesn't it? Look, it's me. When I was a monk in Germany. This is me holding the church in the hand and the magic stick. <laughs> look, does not look like me. It's with my hoodie on. And the beer is called um, Sebaldus Se Weizen from Nuremberg Hells. Sebaldus Weizen, Helles Hef. There's not a word of English on this la on these labels. Nothing in English, right? It's the proper Nuremberg. Uh, is it wheat beer? I'm not sure. Weizen, <laughs> wheat beer, right? The, uh, <laughs> let's let's read the label. I can't remember how much, look, when I get them from the bottle shop, I don't even ask how much they are, like, you know what I mean? I just buy them, like, just think, just go for it, please, don't worry. Right, so it's like it says there, what's it say? Under there, in that little, like, little, little letters, it says. I can't speak German, like. It says, uh, under the, under the, the fella, what, under the fella that looks like me. In the little letters there, underneath there, it says. If any Germans are watching, tell me what like Ein getragen Schutzmark Gebraut in the tradition de Koniglich Beer Schnichen <laughs> Wesen Bauhauses in the Nuremberg. Right, that's that bit at the bottom, like. I've got to read the label, haven't I? And then um, it says, Nuremberg, Sebaldus Wesen, Hef, Hell von Tucher. You tell me, did someone help me out with this, like? What's this supposed to be? It's 6%, right? Look, even though it doesn't say that, it doesn't say. It says, Alkoholgehalt. Alkoholgehalt. <laughs> Alkoholgehalt. <laughs> Achtung, banana. <laughs> no, it says, it's all right, let's read the writing. There's no, not a single English word. You shouldn't do that, man. You should think of the, like, you know, I might have come from Germany once upon a time in the old days, like, you know, when I was a girl and that, like, but pff, I don't speak German. 
All right, let's read the lead. This is the best part. Unser Sebaldis Wiesen ist ein Weisenbier Spezialität von Ektum, Schrott und Korn. Es ist Benend Nack Sebaldis. Sieht dem mit El Alte der Schutzpatron der Stadt Nürnberg und somit auch der Braue Gild ihm zu ehren und für alle Waren bekenne Brauen, wer dieses und ach, ach, Milchkraftig weisen der. I have no clue what that means, mate. <laughs> temperature 8. <laughs> See, temperature 8 degrees centigrade. What? Sean, I understand now. Look, Sean. That's what well, Sean. See if I can zoom into that there. I understand now. Sean. It's a guitar player for Journey. My favourite guitar player, by the way, guys, Neil Sean. Sean! <laughs> Sean. Neil Sean, I thought he was Italian. Well, you know, Italian American, like. Sean Samick, eins gartig, kraftig und wollemung im Geschmack. 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 <laughs> no comments. No comments. <laughs> no see. All right. I think you get the point anyway, guys. I don't know what the hell that, that means. Like, I know hellas means bright, doesn't it? Hellas half. Bright half. What's half? I don't know what it means. Like, but there you go. I bought it. Look, I, thought, I didn't even notice. I thought, wow, that's me, isn't it? That could be me there when I was a German once upon a time in Gaul. <laughs> when I was a German monk. I've spent all this time on wrong. Seven minutes already wasted. Just trying to read the bottle. Alright, so I'm hoping this is my last drink tonight. Should be. It's quality though, isn't it? Look at the bottle, man. Look at that. It's, all, it's, it's a weak beer anyway. So, keep the top, get it off carefully so I can keep the top. I keep all my bottles. I've got a collection of loads of bottles for reviews, like, you know, you know from reviews and stuff. Like. Um. This is going to be scary and different. I don't normally drink wheat beers, I'm not really a big wheat beer head, like, because... Well, what have I tried? I tried the Aldi one, you know, the Aldi version of um, Rheinbacher. The, there was an Aldi Rheinbacher wheat beer version. You still buy it, can't you? I wasn't too keen on it, basically, you know what I mean? Because I'm not really a big wheat beer head, like. Let's just get on with it, eh? Nice big bottle. Got a good review this man. Um you know the guy on look at that, even though it's been chilled big time. You can see the head on it's beautiful. Like, you know, I mean that's been this is this my fridge is like the North Pole, I'm telling you, it's not like any other fridge. You wouldn't believe it, it's ridiculous. But it's the ultimate beer fridge. I know some beers you're not meant to chill them too much, but I don't do like everybody else. Why would I? It'd be a bit silly, wouldn't it? And they say like you gotta get rid of you know, you gotta swill it around and and get the wheat in there and all that business, right? See, Simon, if you're watching no Simon from the Craft Beer channel, if you're watching that, but I do listen like Simon says <laughs> that game Simon says 
Stand up. Sit down. Simon says, get some beer. Simon says, don't worry about how much you drink. Simon says... <laughs> now, I, put, I picked this completely without knowing anything about it, guys, alright? If I knew it was a wheat beer, I wouldn't have bought it, to be honest, do you know what I mean? I can't even understand the Weizen beer, you know what I mean? I don't even know. It's like, yes, you're just saying that to hide the fact. Oh, yeah, I can see all that. Look at that all falling in there, mate. Oh, go ahead. Topped it up there, I can see it just... Wow. See it all just falling in there, man. Oh, this bottle shop up the road, just think about it. I didn't have to import it, no one had to send it to me. It was in my bottle shop up the road, I can't believe it. Well, it's not up the road, about... About a mile away, I think. You know, but it's a wonderful, wonderful shop to be able to go in and just buy these beers, you know what I mean? Now, it's crazy looking at this colour. Right, I think we've got it all out, haven't we? We've got it all out like a good boy. Done it all properly, Simon, if you're watching. <laughs> um, it's, it's very unusual looking at this kind of colour beer and knowing it's not going to be apricot or grapefruit or um, citrusy and all that kind of stuff. It's It's got all that look. It looks a bit like vocation, love and hate or... Loch Lomond, um, Brave Hop or whatever, but I know it's not going to be like that, you know what I mean? But look how hazy it is. It's really, really opaque, like you can't see nothing through it. Lovely straw colour, beautiful. Gorgeous, like orange juice, like pure orange juice. And the head on it looks fantastic, I'm in Germany. This is a, a day to, to Jürgen Klopp, mate. Even though we've got beat tonight, I'm drinking this as a toast to Jürgen Klopp for all the good things he's done, and I'm sure he'll do more. I'm never going to give him any stick, never in a million years. Even if we're in, we, go, we get relegated. <laughs> all right, let's get the smell. Oh, the smell reminds me of a Belgian blonde straight away. Wasn't expecting that. Oh dear, I'm going to be well eaten tonight and I didn't expect to be like bready, biscuity, Belgian blondie type thing. Spicy. Lots of interest in aromas, man. But more than anything, it reminded me of a good old, like, Belgian blonde. The way I say good old is I've been doing it for years now. I've only been onto it for like... I don't even know, I can't remember, but it's two years, a year, I'm not sure. Smells delightful. <sighs> smells European, I tell you that. It smells proper European. Okay. And um, what can I say to what's up hell are you for the Vikings? What do we say there? In German like um Bottoms up <laughs> down the hatch <laughs> I can't think of any German terminology like <laughs> Up hell you are. Right. Mm. One swig. Wow, surprisingly tame. Surprisingly tame. But, ooh, eh, it's going woo all over my head. Straight away, like. I just feel like I've just put my head. In the cleavage of some busty German chick in the beer colour. That's how I feel like I put my head in the cleavage. I've got a story about that actually, but I don't want to talk about it. Like when I was a punk rocker and I actually, a total stranger, you know, a woman I didn't even know, she had a low neckline and I was like a punk rocker in, a, in like a punk concert, kind of, you know, gig watching local bands. And I put my head in the cleavage, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was that drunk, like. She didn't do nothing to me, like, you know what I mean? I thought, wow, that's cool, I got away with that, like. Have you ever done that, guys? you ever put your head in a woman's... Just, <laughs> you don't even know her, like, you know what I mean? You go, boom, plant your head in a woman's cleave, it's like... That's where it takes me to, like, somehow, like, the punk rocker times, like. Right, the full taste now, let's get the full taste. It's absolutely...
and you're delicious. It's it's um it's tame, it's smooth, it's not gassy. It's it's it the nearest thing is a Belgian beer but without without certain spices and things. Though the deal or whatever they put in it, because I'm unable to read anything on the bottle whatsoever, like there's still little bits in there man. Don't waste a drop, mate. You know, 56 now, guys. I don't go around putting my head in girls' tits anymore. It's just you know, it's not a dumb thing, is it? Your mum wouldn't be too happy about that, would she? If she knew about that, like. Okay, I've just got, like, you know, the belchy kind of thing when you go, and the other bit of flavour, I'm tasting pears. Oh, oh, pears. Oh, weird. Oh, oh the fumes are lovely. The fumes are lovely. Pears. <laughs> Definitely pears. It, oh, pears? What's going on? Pears. Beer. A bit of apple. And then. Um, yeah, I agree with Dan Simon on, on the Beercraft channel. There's a bit of a banana thing there, like a delicate banana. Delicate, though, you know what I mean? It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't have crossed my mind if he hadn't mentioned it, but it's come up there and I was like, banana. Banana. I don't want to throw this down because I'll end up farther Ted, you know. Hmm. Hmm. And that, wow. Wow. I just got this guy. Like, um, like hospital, like medicine thing going on, like, like, um, Yeah, cloves, but very delicate, very delicate. I don't like cloves as a rule, you know, because I only, only come across cloves when I've got a toothache and things like that, you know. Very delicate cloves in there, man. When I say cloves, I don't mean like a, 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 a hat and a jacket and a pair of gloves. I mean like um, cloves, C-L-O-V-E-S. Like a flowery, like medicinal thing, like. Um, oh, that's delicate. I expected this to be like an unbearable taste, to be honest, because as soon as I realised it was a wheat beer, I was like, oh no. But man, this is exciting. It's actually exciting. Oh wow. I've been transported from Scotland to Germany in like a blink of an eye. From there to there, I love the bottle. I love the picture. You know what I mean? Not because it looks like me. <laughs> it looks like me. Does it look like me? Put your comments below, guys. Anyone who watches this video. By the way, why is by people watching me beer reviews, right? And not saying anything. Why am I getting beer reviews from people? Uh, comments, uh, not so views, you know, not much. I don't get many views because I don't promote my videos, not monetized wise. This is just for fun, right? Um, why is that? Why is no one saying anything? Say something, say, say, Bruce, you're a bell end, whatever, like, but as long as you don't criticize my music, I don't care. Say something, lads, you know what I mean? Just say, let me know you're out there, you're not bots. Mm. The belt, so I'm actually enjoying the belt, yeah. Pear drops, you know the sweets. Pear drops. 
a little bit of that. Oozes quality. It just oozes quality. I mean, I'm, I'm really fond of this, man. This is getting bad. This is getting worse. The more of these beers I drink, it's not my health condition or nothing like that. It's the fact that I might spend all my money on beers. What am I going to do? I don't even have to go abroad. Oh, it's gorgeously tangy in, a, in like a very tame way. I don't know what to say. It does remind me of a Belgian beer though. That bready, like eating a loaf, you know what I mean? Here's the cum shot anyway. Just just tell me, feast your eyes on that and tell me do you not see just pure quality? I mean, it looks like an orange juice, doesn't it, guys? Looks like a beautiful orange juice. And it's not beer. Look at them bubbles. Every one of them's got a name. All dying and being sacrificed for me tonight. There's um, there's Alfie there, mate. He's just popped there, like. There's Frank there. There's Frank over there, look. Every one of them bubbles has got a... It's got a name. <laughs> it's shaped like a dragon in it's like... <laughs> Does remind me of a Belgian beer, this, mate. I actually didn't expect to like this, you know. I'll just call it, isn't it? Amber. Like, as in... Traffic lights amber. It's either stop, slow down, put the brakes on, or get ready to accelerate. Amber. What's the time? I'm on, I'm on, 22 minutes, all right. Liverpool. I love Liverpool till I dare die. And um, God bless Ian St. John. Listen to this, guys. I was checking out records and all Liverpool football matches, right? The first time I ever went to Anfield. One of my neighbours took me, his son was like about my age, he was a little bit older than me. And he took me, he said, my dad's going to the football match next week, Liverpool, do you want to come? I was like, what, go ahead. Right, I was five years old, right, I just turned five. <laughs> and I actually did the research on YouTube or whatever on, on online. I was trying to track the match and it was against West Ham and Anfield, right. Bobby Moore was playing, one of the first black football players in 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 British football. Uh, Clyde Best, brilliant player, proper decent fella. He played. That's how I remember the game more than anything, because I know Bobby Moore was playing, but Clyde Best was the way I could track the game because it was like it could have been seventy, it could have been seventy one. Wasn't too sure. Turns out it was nineteen sixty nine. The 15th of November 1969 at Anfield, Liverpool won 2-0. I couldn't even remember the score, I was that little, I was five years old, my like guys. I just I, my birthday's on the 4th of November. So I just turned five. 15th of November 1969. We actually won 2-0. And um it just so happened to be the first match of the day broadcast. It was on. It was actually filmed for match of the day, and I didn't even know that the, the cameras were there. I didn't even know the cameras filmed it because I wouldn't have thought it right. And it was the first time match of the day was broadcast in colour. And if you check out the game, Liverpool versus West Ham, nineteen sixty nine, the goals are on YouTube. A West Ham fan actually posted them right, and. Ian St. John was playing. I saw Ian St. John play that day, right? For Liverpool. And phew, what a weird memory, eh, guys? So nice to know. I didn't realise. And he died the other day, like, you know what I mean? I'm thinking, whoa, go ahead to the toast to Cloppy, right? For never disappoint me anyway, right? Nice German beer, yeah? And definitely Ian St. John for like, because I've seen him play in Anfield. I can't believe I've seen Ian St. John play. I couldn't believe it when I only found that out today, guys. 
which is like um, we just come past midnight and we'd sit uh, to its quarter to its quarter, quarter one actually. So it was the fourth of March that I actually found out I'd seen in St John play for Liverpool. Which gives me a nice warm fuzzy glow inside, you know. You know, because I've been a Liverpool fan since I was a baron, since I was a baron, you know, 25. You're all familiar with me, my magic cup. Doesn't matter whether we get beat, even when we get beat, I celebrate because we're such a great team, such a great club, you know what I mean? Anyway, that's for Ian St. John, anyway. And of course, Clobby Way. All the good German stuff. Mm, that's kicking in, man. Alright, man. It's a barrel of fruit, it's got like a. You know, the oh, apples, pears, um, the clovey thing, maybe hints of cinnamon, I don't know, little tiny spicy things, but delicate, very cleverly done. And the water's nice. <laughs> it's all nice, I'm getting into water, man. But this is good, this is a good beer, 6%. It'd be incredible trying a few of these. It's terrible, this man. The only review of these beers, and the only way I can really test them is like getting stuck into loads of them, you know what I mean? And um, it wouldn't be good for me, would it? I don't think I'm ready for the Zimmer frame just yet. Or the mobility scooter. <laughs> Look, man, it's a combination like Danish, Liverpool, Adidas, which it, Adidas, is it? Adidas. Um, where's the Adidas badge? Oh, it's there, isn't it? It's under my beard. That's German, isn't it? So you've got German, Danish, Scouts, Liverpool, Merseyside. It's me all over, isn't it? Because there's the proof. <laughs> there's the proof. <laughs> Could be my dad, like, but he, he never had a beard, you see. He would not grow his beard. He used to hound me dad, he used to say, grow your beard man, I'll, I'll fall, I'm going to see me dad with a beard, see what he looks like. Just wouldn't do it. He'd say, don't talk, fucking stupid son. Like, as if it was like a bad thing, I'd be like, what's the problem, I'm just telling you to grow your beard. Anyway, I like him that. Looks like orange juice, doesn't it? 27 minutes. Looks like orange juice. I'll probably upload this tomorrow, by the way, because I'll probably go to bed after this. Sweet dreams, innit? Sweet dreams. There's a delightful bitter aftertaste, but it's not like bitter, as in grapefruit bitter. It's weird, man. It's a good full bodied beer. Full body and mm. <laughs> it's like just come out of a barrel. Oh. oh, what have I done, man? Get into these things. It's kicking in delightfully. It's 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 a. I didn't think it'd be into what a wheat beer means. I didn't think it'd be my thing, like, to be honest. Sorry if the chewy sounds like a smacky sort of smack of me lips and all that shit like <laughs> some people actually complain, don't they? <laughs> Cause I'm not monetized, they can't do it to me, can they? Alright, so I'm definitely not rushing that. I can't throw it down like I normally do. But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's it's not like I expected, because it's a German beer and I didn't it, it's so Belgian, I can't believe it. Which came first, the Belgians or the Germ the German beers, man? Oh, I keep getting that. Pear drops. And the sweets, pear drops. That's what I keep getting, I mean. Retro Belge. 29. In the retro belt, good name for the band, that ain't it? Retro belt, where you sort of you don't actually go, 
Normalmente just goes on. And you, you, the flavour comes in you. Mmm. Mm. Nah, I love that. I'll get that again, definitely. And it's like champagne. It's got the champagne thing in the head. Like wine. Oh man, these beers are too much, aren't they, guys? Definitely the aroma of pears. Six percent, yeah, a ten out of ten, definitely a ten out. I mean, ah, I can't even argue with that, mate. That's definitely a ten out of ten to me. A ten out of ten. So whoever you are, Sibalis, Hellas Hef, whatever that means, ten out of ten, and I can't wash that down. It's just too nice. I can't. I can't wash it down. Okay. Thanks for watching, cheers, I might be back later tonight, I don't know.